Here we are live again, and I have got a question for you, and that is, do you need or want more money and funding for your real estate deals, regardless of whether you're a brand new real estate investor or you are a wholesaler and you want to stay in some deals and you haven't been able to because you don't have the money? Or are you a seasoned real estate investor and you just want more money and funding without paying stupid high rates and you know, the hard money lenders and all that kind of stuff. Well, if you answered yes to any of those questions, don't go anywhere because I'm getting ready to plug you into the money and the funding right now here in just a moment. In fact, I have got a brand new book that I'm going to give you for free that's going to plug you into this funding and money for your real estate deals. Well, welcome to Free Coaching Friday. I'm Jay Connor here in Moorhead City, North Carolina, uh, in a little teeny tiny town. <laughs> Me and my wife, Carol Joy, we've been investing in real estate uh, here since 2003. And uh, good morning, Dan Muhorter. Glad to see you here on Free Coaching Friday. In fact, if you're just signing in now on the live stream or you are watching the replay, all these instructions that I give you work perfectly, whether you're watching the live stream or the replay. And I want you to type in, uh, of course, we got your name here in the comments, but type in your city and state where you're tuning in from and say hello to everybody. So what in the world, if you're brand new, what in the world is Free Coaching Friday? Well, for a number of years now, every Friday morning at 10 a.m. Eastern Time uh, that I can, if it's possible, I go live here on, uh, here on this Facebook page um, and I give, I share tips and strategies resources that I'm using uh, in the real estate investing business. Of course, we talk a lot about private money. I'm known as the private money authority. And, um, you know, when I started out back in 2003, two, uh, from 2003 to 2009, I relied on local banks to fund our deals. But then, like the rest of the world, lost our funding at the bank's traditional funding and started using private money. Well, what in the world is private money? It's doing business with individuals, human beings, that uh, fund our deals. And so, uh, yes, hello there, Scott. Welcome to Free Coaching Friday. If you're just tuning in, type in your city and state where you are tuning in from. And also, on today's Free Coaching Friday, after I give you and show you how to get this free book, which is called Where to Get the Money Now, today's topic on Free Coaching Friday is How to Spot a Private Lender Scam Part 2. Now, last Friday, here on Free Coaching Friday, we started this conversation about uh, how to spot a private lender scam. And I'm going to review, in short, what we covered last week on Free Coaching Friday. But part two, I've got even more details for you. On last week's Free Coaching Friday, uh, one of the attendees, Elaine, posed a question and said, look, I get you know these offers of private lenders. How can I really know if they are scams or not. So I asked Elaine to email in here to our office one of the emails uh, or the emails that she's gotten from a supposed, a supposed private lender. Um, and I would dissect it and, and share with you all on today's Free Coaching Friday exactly what this email says and how you know to spot that it is a private lender scam. I don't want any of y'all to be taken advantage of like this. And in fact, when you do the business the way that I do it and the way, and when you do private money the way that I do it, you're not gonna have to worry about being taken advantage of and scammed by these supposed uh, private lenders. But first things first, I promised you when we just started out a couple of minutes ago that I'm gonna plug you into the money and funding uh, whether you're a newbie, a wholesaler, you want to stay in deals, or uh, you're a seasoned real estate investor. So I've got a gift for you. By the way, if you're just joining us now on the live stream and you haven't yet, type in the comment bar your city and state where you're tuning in from and say hello to everybody. And as I'm going over this information today on Free Coaching Friday, type in any question you have in the comment bar and I'll get your questions answered. And that goes for you if you're watching the replay as well. So right now, whether you're watching the replay or you're watching live stream right now, 
I need your help. Help me get as many people here on the live stream as possible right now. So right now, hit tap your share button, your share icon below the video, and let's get as many people right now here on the live stream as we can. All right, the free book. So that, hey, I'm loving all the likes. Send me lots of likes and lots of love, everybody. I need lots of love here on Free Coaching Friday. Here's the book that I was telling you about. Look at the hearts coming in. This book, where to get the money now subtitle how and where to get money for your real estate deals without relying on traditional or hard money lenders folks i just recently released this book and it shows you step by step how to get the funding for your deals without using traditional lenders in fact this book shows you how to receive multiple checks on every transaction that you do. This book will show you step by step how to never have to take money to the closing table on deals that you purchase. In fact, my book will show you how to get a big check every time that you buy. This shows you how to get in control of your real estate business and fix your cash flow problems. So here's how you get the book. All right, go to www. In fact, Dan, if you don't mind, put it in the comment bar if you haven't already. Go to www.jconner.com forward slash Friday. jconner.com forward slash Friday. I'll rush the book right out to you. Yes, I am going to ask you to spend a couple of bucks to cover shipping and handling, but the book itself is free. That'll save you 20 bucks on Amazon. Now, before I get into today's um, uh, training on how to spot a private lender scan part two, I want to see who's tuning in. So let me get my glasses on and come up here. I got Greg. Thank you, Greg, for putting that in the comment bar. Dan, thank you for putting that in there. And we've got Willie all the way from Rock Island, Illinois. Hello, everyone. Uh, Greg is from Hopkins, Minnesota and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Um, and we've got Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We got, oh, my lens, there's Linda. There's an old time follower from Durham, North Carolina, from Huntsville, Alabama. We got Scott. And uh, yes, yeah, so again, and there's Larry. Good morning, Larry. Good to have you. Again, if you're watching the live stream or the replay, I want to know where you are tuning in from. So type in your city and state and say hello. All right, let's go ahead and jump in right now to today's training. Now, last week, let me give you just a quick little summary for those of you that uh, missed out last week on spotting scams. Hello, Stephen from Florida. Glad to have you, Stephen. Um, so here in summary is what we covered last week. Let me go ahead and give you the bottom line right now. Here's the bottom line. How do you spot a private lender scam? Here's the bottom line answer. If a supposed private lender, doesn't matter, company, whatever, if they ask you to send them, wire them any money whatsoever, any money whatsoever, prior to you going to the closing table to purchase the property, you know it's a scam. Because if you send anybody any money prior to going to the closing table to purchase the property, they are going to disappear on you and they are not going to be wiring you any money regardless of what they told you in an email. Now, these scam artists, they will ask for money at different points in time uh, of the deal in the process. Uh, in fact, I've got right here, I've got a, an exact email right here, a copy of it that Elaine forwarded to us since last uh, Friday's Free Coaching Friday. And I'm going to read this email to you here in a second. And, and listen, these people, I'm going to say they sound like they know what they're doing. Yeah, they know what they're doing, all right. Um, but in this email, I'm going to show you how to spot exactly how you know what uh, that it's a scam that's, that, that, or a scam artist that is emailing you. Now, here's the deal. Let's see here. Larry just typed in something. Let me see what you got here, Larry. You got uh, lost $2,000 in a deal like this. Absolutely, Larry. I am, and, and that's like the ballpark. Listen, folks, if you got, if, if anybody has experienced this that I'm talking about, or if you have a question about what I'm talking about, be sure and type that in the comment bar. I'll get those answered for you. Now, 
They ask these these scam scammers. They ask for this money at different points in the process of the deal. Before they even review your deal and ask you to send in the details of the deal, they may ask you to send them an application uh, fee, right? They, they may ask for 250 bucks or something, application fee. And then along the process, guess what? You're going to send them details of your deal, and guess what? They are going to approve your deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to approve your deal, and guess what they're going to do next? Then they're going to ask you to wire them more money before they send money to your real estate attorney for the closing. Um, so somebody just chimed in here. Let me see. Um, yep, yep, Dan, so many of these scams and groups on Facebook. Exactly, Dan. Thank you for sharing. So, so you know, do lenders, do lenders get, uh, like hard money lenders, do they get paid? Do they get fees? Absolutely. But when do legitimate, when do legitimate lenders get paid? They get paid from the proceeds of the closing by your real estate attorney, right? So, you know, a traditional lender is going to require down payment for you to bring money to the closing table and they're going to charge points, origination fees. In the book here, you're going to learn that using real private money, we never pay points. We never pay origination fees, okay? But traditional lenders do. Well, when do they get their money? They never get the money up front prior to the closing. When you close, there with the real estate attorney, then the real estate attorney is going to disperse funds and it's at that point in time that the lender is getting paid. So let's pick up here in part two as to what's happened since last Friday's Free Coaching Friday. So as I said, Elaine was here on the, uh, on the live stream and, um, and she said she'd received some of these emails. And uh, we asked her to send us a copy of this email and I'll, I'll analyze it for you. And here it is. So she got this email. Um, this was on October the 4th. And guess what? I'm, I mean, just for the sake of privacy, I'm, I'm not going to read out here the exact Gmail address. But this email comes from an individual. All right, so it's not coming from a company. It's an individual with a Gmail address. And the, here's, what the G, here's what the email says. Hi there, I'm a direct uh, private money lender currently looking to get connected with individuals and companies that are in need of financial assistance. Now, listen to this. I mean, this is a big red flag right here. We also offer 100% unsecured loans. My lands, folks, if that ain't a red flag, we offer 100% unsecured loans. Look, what private lender in the world that does not know you is going to offer you unsecured money um, and not ask for the, the, the money to be collateralized by, um, you know, by the real estate. Somebody's chiming in here. Uh, yeah, big red flag frog, frog, uh, frog, frog. You got that right, uh, Greg, big time. So listen to this offer. We have 100% unsecured loans at, are you ready for the interest rate? Are you ready for the interest rate this private lender is offering? At 4%, hey, listen, folks. When your mama told you when you were growing up, if it sounds too good to be true, guess what? It is too good to be true. 100% unsecured loan at 4% interest rate. Are you ready? For a period of 1 to 35 years, give me a break. For a period of 1 to 35 years with a six months grace period, who in the world knows what that means? I mean, I know what a grace period is, but in this context, who knows? And listen, and no early prepayment or repayment penalty. These people don't even know what to call it. The actual, actual correct name is a prepayment penalty. This is called a repayment penalty. My guess is uh, this uh, Gmail person might be from overseas somewhere. 
Who knows? What's Greg typing in there? Absolutely, Greg. All right, now, here's the call to action. Please reply backs, not back, backs. Please reply backs if you are interested to provide you with further details. This person can't even speak correct English here. If you are interested to provide you with further details. All right, so Elaine sent this in to us, <clears throat> to Ashley, and, um, and so here's the instructions that we gave Ashley. We said, Ashley, uh, if you would reply to this email and uh, tell them that you would like further details. Here are the further details. Boy, if this ain't red flags. Okay, so here's the reply that she got. <clears throat> this same Gmail address says, thanks for reaching out to me regarding the loan you're looking to borrow. Before we proceed, I'd like to walk you through the processes of securing a loan with us. Hence, our terms and conditions as stated below. So you see how this person is trying to engage Elaine in this conversation. Number one, our loan is granted. What in the world does that mean? English people don't speak like that. Our loan is granted, should say funded. Our loan is granted at 4% interest rate per annum with flexible monthly repayment analysis plan. What in the world does that mean? That will suit your monthly income. Boy, has that got scam written all over it right there. In other words, we're going to set a monthly payment up for you, you poor, pitiful, pathetic real estate investor wanting to borrow money, good night, that will suit your monthly income. Number two, um, you, the borrower, should be above the age of 20 years. Not 20 years old, but 20 years. It must be responsible for the amount he or she is to borrow. Number three, the borrower should provide us with two recent bank statements. Hello? Two recent bank statements. So a person that's reached out to you is asking for your bank statements. Do you know what is on your bank statement? That's right. Your personal account number. Maybe even a routing number. Driver's license, red flag. Government issued ID card, proof of employment with, guess what else they want? Your social security number, right? Look, I don't mind giving my social security number if I'm knocking on somebody else's door, right? But not somebody knocking on my door. Our loan is usually funded using bank to bank transfers and wires, Bitcoin, yeah, give me a break, PayPal or certified mail check. Can't even speak English. The borrower is to choose which is suitable for him or her. Number five, here's the biggest red flag in this entire email. Listen carefully. The borrower, that's you, is, or Elaine in this case, the borrower is to provide a one-time security commitment fee, which will be used in the total cost of funding the loan. Listen, the said fee cannot be added or deducted from the principal loan amount, which means and with these people, you cannot bring the commitment fee to the closing table. They want you to send the commitment fee to them up front before they supposedly fund the deal. You send that, and, and as Larry just shared, he lost $2,000 on a scam like this. The, the ranges are typically like $1,500, $2,000, that they want up front. Um, number six, the borrower is to provide correct information when completing the loan application form when necessary documents. As stated in clause three above, oh, they're trying to sound so legal beagle. Listen, our loans are not credit-based. Okay, this person isn't even making sense. If their loans are not credit-based, and by the, way, by the way, in the real world doing business with credible private lenders, your credit's got nothing to do with it. We are collateralizing the note. But guess what? Since your credit's got nothing to do with it, with the way we do private money, here, this person says our loans are not credit-based. Well, here's my question. Up here in item number three, they want your social security number. Well, listen here. If, you're, if your loan is not credit-based, why do they need your social security number? They need your social security number to scam, not only take your money on a fraudulent private lender deal, but they want your personal information so they can steal your identity. This is like a double scam artist right here. Uh, if you find the term suitable for you, we'll begin the process of having your loan request, blah, 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 blah. 
Kindly acknowledge receipt of this email at your convenience with possible consideration of moving forward. So, of course, Elaine uh, is not going to give any of this information to these scam artists. Um, but I, I did ask Elaine to reply back to that Gmail address with, yes, I would like to move forward. What happens next? And ask them for a website. I guarantee, well, I can't guarantee you. Who knows? Maybe they will come back with a website. But if these were, were a, a legitimate hard money lender, they would be providing a website address. So there you have it, folks. Hey, look, if you found this information helpful to where you're not going to be scammed and take advantage of people, right now, whether you're watching the live stream or the replay, give me a bunch of thumbs ups right now. Give me some thumbs ups. Send me a bunch of hearts. Send me a ton of hearts. And even better than that, type in the comment bar right now. I love it, Jay. I love it. I love it. I love it. If you got any questions, go ahead and type those in. Somebody just sent a comment in. Let me see here. Oh, yeah, Dan Muhorter. Thank you, Dan. Posting of the book. Now they're going to steal your identity. Exactly, Greg. I mean, this is like a, a double scam thing. So anyway, folks, there you have it. Another free coaching Friday. Uh, let's see here. Larry says, good info. Thank you, Larry, for sharing. So there you have it, folks. Uh, I want to rush the book out to you. Go to, uh, as Dan just typed in the comment bar, jconnor.com forward slash Friday. We'll rush the, bu the book out. Yep. Thank you, Greg. Thank you for participating. Well, hit the share icon, folks, because I know you got some friends out there that need this information so they don't get scammed as well. And um, hey, I'm wishing you all the best. Have a fantastic Friday. And um, Lord willing, we'll see you right back here on next Friday's Free Coaching Friday. One last comment coming in here again. Uh, thank you, Greg. jconnorcom forward slash Friday. We'll ship the book out. And if you're watching the uh, replay, type your comments in and your questions, and I'll get those answered. I'm Jay Connor, the Private Money Authority, wishing you all the best. Here's to taking your real estate investing business to the next level. And I'll see you right here on the next Free Coaching Friday. Love you guys and gals. See you next time. Bye for now.